So a topic no one has actually really discussed in Sonic Forces are the super forms. No one has thought of the possibility of supersonic, both classic and modern, and then also super custom hero. No one has ever thought about that, and this idea just popped in my head, so I decided to make this video on it. So today, we're going to be discussing the possibilities of supersonic and also the super custom hero. So, let's begin with this video. So first, let's go on to Super Sonic. So obviously, you'll probably have to get all the Chaos Emeralds, or all of the Red Rings that just get you the Chaos Emeralds, as that has been the trend for the past three Sonic games, I think. Lost World did it, Generations actually was story progression, and then Colors was basically the same, but you had to play those weird multiplayer stages as well. I forgot what they were called. There was some evil Eggman thingy. But that's how you got them in the past three games. And the Red Rings are in this game again. So it's pretty easy to assume that you get all the Red Rings. And that's probably how you get the super forms for Sonic. For classic and modern Sonic. How will they play though? So, they'll probably be a bit overpowered, maybe. They won't go the Generations route where Super Sonic was just absolutely crazy, stupid overpowered, but your rings ran out in like the space of 5 seconds. I don't think they're going to go that route. I think they're going to go the route of Sonic Colors, where he seemed to be basically the same as Sonic. He could jump a little bit higher, and he had infinite boost. And I think that's how they will do it for both Classic and Modern Sonic. And then obviously Classic will be 2D Super Sonic. I'm hoping he's a bit more powerful than that. I'm hoping, like in the Genesis games, in the Mega Drive games, Super Sonic was so cool. He got instant speed straight away. He could jump really high. He was like so invincible. Yeah, he wasn't too overpowered because you could still die by bottomless pits and getting crushed. But... In Sonic, like, let's say Sonic Lost World, you could die really easily as Super Sonic. You could die by the minecarts in the rail grinding stages. That was just dumb. So I hope they don't really nerf Super Sonic again in Sonic Forces. I hope they make Super Sonic actually viable and actually worth it to get all of the red rings. Because like I said in Sonic Lost World, it was so not worth it getting all those red rings. Just for this really nerfed Super Sonic that you would only use like once for fun and then never use him again. So I really hope they improve that in this game. And then in Generations they just handed you Super Sonic and Super Sonic sucked in that game too because he was way too overpowered but his rings ran out way too quickly. Like he literally, you would just fly on top of the stages and then you'd lose like 50 rings in like 20 seconds. It was absolutely crazy. So I hope in Sonic Forces they do fix this we get a really great overpowered Super Sonic, not too overpowered, but not nerfed, and actually viable so that your rings don't run out in one second. That's what I want from Super Sonic, and I actually, I think, I think they'll make Super Sonic better in this game. I don't think they'll make it as nerfed as Lost World, because that was just really pathetic. I think they'll do better than that, and I don't think they'll make it as overpowered as James. So that is what I think they'll make Super Sonic-like in Sonic Forces, but... Now let's talk about a custom hero super form. So this is quite a weird topic, because is this even going to happen? And if it is, how is it even going to work? Because is the custom hero going to have to get all of the Chaos Emeralds to turn super? Is there going to be a new kind of gem, like the Seven World Rings, something like that? but for the custom hero only, because I'm trying to think of the final boss for the game, and usually it would be Super Sonic. Even though it wasn't in Lost World and it wasn't in Sonic Colors, those were just regular Sonic, and they were basically the same boss fight in both games, but still. How, how would it work? Because if you do have a Super Sonic final boss, what is the custom hero going to do? Is it going to be like two different like levels entirely, but like the same thing? Like, let's say you're Super Sonic at one point, you've beaten the boss, you hit the boss once, and then it transitions to the custom hero and he plays like a 2D stage, has to get to like the boss again. Basically, like Sonic Unleashed, like you had you had the Dark Gaia, you had the Colossus thingy, 
Chip would be controlling the Colossus, then it would switch to Sonic, and he would run, like he was on the Colossus, he would run through it, then he would jump to Dark Gaia, and then you mash the X button. So it could be something like that. And I actually really enjoyed that boss fight. I thought that boss fight was really fun. That's not a popular opinion, but I don't care. But if the custom hero did have a super form, I just want to see how he would play. Would it be the same as Super Sonic, where he would just be a bit more overpowered, he could jump higher, he could run faster, and stuff like that? Or could he have something with his wisp on? Maybe he gets an infinite wisp on. So let's say he gets an infinite boost. You can just jump and jump and jump forever for the whole stage and just fly on top of it all. I think that could be a really cool thing for them to do. But I don't actually think they're going to do Super Custom Hero. Like I said before with the final boss, I think they're going to pull something like that. I think they're going to do the two perspectives. And then I think the Custom Hero, yeah, I don't even know what's going to happen at the Custom Hero at the end of the story, like at the final boss. Is he going to die? Like Chip? Well, Chip didn't really die, he like he stayed for another thousand years to stop that guy. But what's gonna happen to the custom hero? That's something I'm really interested in too. I hope there is a super form for the custom hero because I think it would just increase the replay value and if there's red rings in the custom hero stages, what's gonna be the point of getting them? If you don't get anything out of it. Because obviously, you know, modern Sonic, he'll get his super form, classic will get his super form. And then the custom hero, what the hell does he get? Is he just going to get nothing? Or is he actually going to get some cool form and it's just like really overpowered. We get infinite wisp bonds, like the infinite wisp bond power boost thing. Or is it just going to be something lame? Like Sonic 4 Episode 2, where they decided, oh, here's, here's the red rings. What do you get for it? An achievement. And what else? Nothing. Another thing that could be cool for the custom hero super form is if the animals affect what kind of extra abilities you get for the custom hero. So let's say you're the wolf and I think he attracts rings. Well let's say you are the super custom hero and you're the wolf. What if you get to attract like rings from an even further distance than you could before when you are the super custom hero? Or how about when you're the bunny where you get to jump three times? How about you get to jump maybe five or six times? This would be something really cool. I would love for this to happen, cause like I've said before, this would increase the replay value immensely for Sonic Forces and the custom hero in general. So I'm really hoping for this to happen too. But that is really what I'm hoping for with Sonic Forces Super Forms. I hope that this comes true. I hope that I'm right. I hope we do get custom hero super forms, but I doubt we will, but we're definitely going to get classic and modern. And if we don't get classic and modern, I'll be very, very surprised if we don't get to play as Super Sonic through the regular stages, because that would suck. But what do you guys think is going to happen? Do you think we're going to get super forms or not? If we are going to get super forms, let me know what kind of super forms you want in the comments below. How would you want them to do Super Sonic? Would you want them to make him like really overpowered? Or do you want to make him like kind of nerfed like Sonic Lost World to make it more balanced? Personally, like I said in this video before, I would hate that. That would suck. I want him to be really strong. Just so it's it's just gives you more replay value. It's like if he's really nerfed and plays almost the same as regular Sonic, then what's the point in going out of your way and trying to get all of the red rings just for a tiny bit more powerful Sonic? who still dies to minecarts. Oh god, I hated that so much. But yeah, let me know what you want. I hope you enjoyed this video. I've got more videos planned like this, so I hope you look forward to them throughout the rest of the week. Thank you guys for listening, and I will definitely catch you all later.